Since coronavirus crisis is increasing globally day by day, I want to share everything you need to know about the coronavirus outbreak in this video. All the information provided in this video are with reference to the details published by World Health Organization. So watch this video till the end to know the symptoms, precautions, treatments and other wrongly spread rumors about this disease. Welcome to Real Gains. Let us first understand what is coronavirus. Coronaviruses are a group of viruses which can cause illness ranging from common cold to severe respiratory diseases. Coronaviruses are zoonotic, meaning they can be transmitted between animals and people. SARS caused by SARS-CoV, which originated in China in 2002, is a coronavirus. It was transmitted from civet cats to humans. MERS caused by MERS-CoV, which originated in Saudi Arabia in 2012, is also a coronavirus. It was transmitted from dormitory camels to humans. The 2019 novel coronavirus is now named as SARS-CoV-2 and the disease associated with it is referred to as COVID-19. It was identified in China at the end of 2019 and is a new strain of coronavirus which has never affected the humans before. The current outbreak of coronavirus disease was first reported in Wuhan city, China on December 31st, 2019. Several known coronaviruses are still existing among animals which have not yet affected humans. Let us now understand how severe this disease is. SARS, which originated in China in 2002, reported 8,000 cases in a period of 8 months by 33 countries. One in 10 people who contracted SARS died. The current coronavirus outbreak has reported 10,000 cases in China in the first month alone, with subsequent cases being reported majorly in Europe and other countries. At this point, there is too little data to say how deadly this disease is. But however, preliminary findings have found that it is very much less fatal than the SARS disease. But one factor to be considered is the vast improvement in globalization from the year 2002 to 2020. People now are able to travel easily and frequently all over the world thus increasing the risk of spreading any contagious disease. Let us now understand how this disease is transmitted. While animals are the major source of this virus, it is currently spreading between humans. There is currently not enough data to estimate how easily and sustainably the virus is spreading between people. However, it has been found that the main pathway for the virus to spread is through the respiratory droplets that people sneeze, cough or exhale. People who are affected by this coronavirus are contagious immediately, which means they can spread the virus to others as soon as they get affected by it. It can take up to two days to feel any symptoms. Also, it can take up to 14 days for those symptoms to get worse. Let me explain the preventive measures. Most of the people infected by this virus experience mild illness and recover. However, some might experience severe illness. Prevent yourself and others from this virus by following some simple preventive measures. Wash your hands frequently. Thoroughly clean your hands with alcohol-based rub or wash your hands with soap and water. Maintain at least 3 feet or 1 meter distance from you and anyone who is coughing or sneezing. Avoid touching your nose, mouth or ears. Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up the virus. Once contaminated, it can easily get transferred to your ears, nose or mouth. From there, the virus can easily spread into your body. Make sure you and people around you follow a good respiratory hygiene. This means covering up your mouth and nose with your fold elbow when you sneeze or cough. You can even use a tissue paper for doing this. 
If you have fever, cough or difficulty in breathing, seek medical care immediately. Clean and cook your foods well, especially meat and eggs. If you note carefully, these are all standard recommendations to prevent any type of infection. So if you follow all these on a daily basis, you are probably going to be resistant from most of the contagious diseases including the new coronavirus. It's time to know the symptoms of this virus. From what we have known so far, the virus can cause flu-like symptoms such as fever, cough, difficulty in breathing, pain, tiredness. More serious cases develop diseases such as pneumonia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, sepsis, kidney failure, and septic shock which can actually lead to death of the person. People with existing chronic conditions such as weak immunity are more vulnerable to severe illness. If you have any of these symptoms or have recently traveled from an area affected by the new coronavirus, you should stay at your home and stop contact with other people in order to stop this virus from spreading. Immediately call the nearby hospital or your local health security team to explain your situation. In case if someone is affected by this virus, what is the treatment? There is no treatment for this virus as of now. So the approach used to treat a coronavirus affected patient is the same as one who is treated with a fever or difficulty in breathing. However, additional therapies like Oxygen therapy, fluid management, and antivirals can be highly effective for this illness. There are currently no vaccines for any type of coronavirus, including SARS-CoV-2. That is why it is very, very important to follow the preventive measures that I discussed with you earlier and also control the disease from spreading. Pharmaceutical companies are working hard with World Health Organization in order to find a vaccine for this disease but it can take several months as it need to undergo vigorous testing to prove safe and effective. Now you have a good idea on the coronavirus and the disease that has spread around the world. Now it is time for the final chapter of this video, which is the misconceptions or the myths revolving around coronavirus. Myth number one, getting COVID-19 is a death sentence. That's not true. Only 2.3% of the cases reported so far have resulted in death caused by this virus. Mostly older people and people having a health condition already will undergo severe illness. While there is no need to panic, it is very important to be preventive by protecting yourself and others from this disease. Myth number two, pets can spread the new coronavirus. There is no evidence so far that pets like cats and dogs can spread the virus to humans. However, it is always a good idea to wash your hands thoroughly after getting in contact with your pets as it can help you protect from getting affected by bacteria. This theory was proved by a research in Hong Kong where a dog was tested weak positive, which means the dog had very less capacity to spread the virus in general and there was no evidence that it can spread it to humans. Myth number three, it is not safe to receive packages from China. It is completely false. It is safe to receive any letter or parcel from China according to the World Health Organization itself. From the previous researches done during SARS and MERS diseases, it has been found that the viruses cannot survive long in letters and parcels. Myth number four, face masks prevent you from SARS-CoV-2 virus. The fact is, when you are sick, wearing a surgical or a normal mask can help others from being affected by your sneeze or cough. But when you are not sick, it is not required to wear a mask because anyways, a contagious disease is going to spread through either touching or any other physical exposure and wearing a mask is not really going to help. Myth number five, 
antibiotics are effective in treating the new coronavirus the fact is antibiotics are for bacterial treatments the new coronavirus is actually a virus and hence antibiotics won't be effective however if you are hospitalized for this new virus chances are that you might get a bacterial co infection for which antibiotics will be effective that's it guys these are all the information that i wanted to share with you on the coronavirus outbreak which is increasing globally please share this video in all the social media sites to as many people as possible in order to create an awareness there is no need to panic just follow the preventive measures and you will be safe If you found this information helpful please hit the like button also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notified whenever a video is posted please check out my other videos to lead a healthy life thanks a lot for watching the video